Okay, so we convert it on, on the ellipse as one possible solution to the equation of motion, and the ellipse is, uh, looks something like this, or this distance is this uh, um, semi-minor axis, I think it's called, B, and, and here we have the semi-major axis. This distance here is A, that distance is B again. Um, one object is at a focal point, and the other object goes around this path. So here are M1 and M2, and that's R between the two objects. Uh, we wrote the, this R as, well, we found it to be uh, this, G M1 plus M2 over <clears throat> 1 plus this E constant, which for, I think we wrote this like that, which for an ellipse, well, first of all, to notice that if E is equal to uh, 0, we just get one value of R. If E is greater than 0 and less than 1, some number in between there, we get this kind of geometry. Um, <clears throat> it's also possible to write the uh, radius, well, the radius, uh, the radial distance between these two objects um, in terms of these quantities A, B, and E. And so we could also write that as A times 1 minus E squared over 1 plus E cosine of the angle theta um, minus phi, which then tells us that this quantity is equal to that from the geometry. Uh, <clears throat> so now we want to connect A, some the major axis A to T, because this is Kepler's third law. And so from the second law, the rate of change of the area, we know that's the constant H over 2. What follows from that when we integrate is that we get the area, and the area is equal to H times the time it takes to go around divided by 2. That's the period. <clears throat> and so we have H... Uh, so we have a squared is equal to uh, h squared t squared over 4, and that is equal to uh, a times uh, 1 minus uh, e squared times g m1 plus m2 uh, times uh, t squared over 4, and from the geometry we also have that uh, b squared is equal to a squared times 1 minus e squared, and uh, and the area of, a, of an ellipse a is also in terms of a and b is equal to pi times a times b, um, and so we have a squared is equal to pi squared a squared b squared, which is equal, if we replace b squared with this, to pi squared a squared times a squared, 1 minus e squared, and that has to be equal to <coughs> uh, this. So that is a 1 minus e squared g m1 plus m2, the period squared over 4. And so we get that, um, let's bring the 4 over here, we get 4. Uh, so this equals that, we can cancel a factor of a, well, we'll cancel this entire thing here, and that'll leave one factor of a here. So we get 4 pi squared a cubed. Uh, let's bring this factor down. Usually it's written on this side. G M1 plus 
cos m2, that is equal to t squared. And so it's telling us that the semi-major axis is related to the, the, the period of the orbit in this way. This is the third law of Kepler.